up guys this is Avro Kefren. today I'm going to show you how to improve your performance slash FPS on the new day of infamy game uh, first of all you can do it by um, the local file but it's not recommended because uh, you will need to use notepad plus plus and it's a little bit complicated so you, sh you should go in the game because you have a lot of options that you can change uh, so if you want to do it by the config file you have to go to the um, say uh, the, the, the folder of your game go to doi cfg after that config you will see all your config is over there but you will probably need to use uh, notepad plus plus to see it uh, vertically and after that, just make sure that you save the game like my other videos and you put uh, the read only for the game. So let's see, we will go in the game. So the goal here is not necessarily to um, like just lower your graphic. It's to lower stuff that you not necessarily uh, need to use it. And you will keep the, um, the best quality of the game, the visual quality without like uh, any big compromise. So, um, Go to setting videos. So here you have a lot of options that you can choose. First of all, for sure you can change your resolution. Uh, but here again, you will uh, probably lose uh, a lot of uh, the visual of the game if you go uh, under uh, full HD. Um, stuff that you can't uh, remove if you want: atmospheric bloom, soft particle, uh, even the lens effect with those trees disabled you will um, get like maybe five to seven F FPS. That's kind of, a, it's, it's a lot because it's not, those are not big effect and you will not necessarily like see it on the game if you put it at disable. After that, global shadow quality. Oh, I don't know why it's not moving right now. Okay, just uh, because I didn't press apply. Just put this one at low, very low, sorry. And you will gain, I saw 3 FPS by each bracket. So, high to medium, 3 FPS, 3 FPS to low, 3 FPS to very low. Uh, shadow quality always messed up uh, FPS on any game. And for me, it's not a big deal when you're playing a first person shooter. You know, you know, it doesn't change anything for you. Uh, you just want to see the enemy and kill him. So, uh, it's not a big deal. Uh, model texture detail L, you will gain... 2 FPS for each, uh, 1 to 2 FPS depending on your video, car video card because on my NVIDIA PC I don't see much uh, change over here. Um, so yeah, if you lower it, uh, it's 2 FPS max. Uh, do it if you really need it because uh, you will see a big decrease in the texture on the game. Shader, again, this one you can use it but don't go too low, okay? So if you want like uh, to, to have all your settings to high, keep that one at high because you will see a big decrease in your graphic. Um, effect detail, this one you can go to low, it's more about like uh, all the effect inside of the game when you zoom on zoom and stuff like that. Uh, this one you can put to low, you will gain 7 FPS if you go to low. And uh, yeah, that's about it, you can't go to very low with this one. Anti-aliasing mode, for sure this one is a big thing, but you will see a big decrease too. Uh, you can use 2x if you want. Um, if you go to 8, you will see a big decrease in your FPS. Me, I'm using 4X, but I have an R9 280X, my video card, and my uh, processor is pretty, uh, it's pretty good. It's an i7 4790K, uh, so uh, you can do some testing with this one. Same thing with the filter mode, do some things testing too. Uh, you will see uh, they can be, they can demand a lot of resources, those two, but you will see uh, a nice difference when you upgrade it, so just do some dice. Um, virtual, virtual sync, sorry, uh, put this to disable, very important. You will have more than 60 and you will not struggling with the V-Sync problem. Uh, motion blur, disable this, it's a bad effect and you will lose the FPS for that. And uh, last thing, it's the, um, I didn't talk about the FX on TL lasing. Put this to uh, disable. If uh, you really have a bad computer, go with disable, you will probably gain three FPS with this one. So if you have any question, just uh, comment in the um, YouTube section, post me your rig and I will try to help you. This game is uh, is using the source engine, so you should not have any problem to run this game, except if you have, you have really a, like a low-end PC. So yeah, that's about it. And uh, yeah, maybe a lot, one more last thing, it's the field of view. 
if you're going more you have the feel of you more you need to render uh, stuff that you will see so if you <laughs> if you have really like big problem to see like to have like 60 x sorry if you have a lot of problems you have your 60 fps go lower and maybe try 75 you will see an increase over here because uh, you will see that you're more like zoom in the game you will see less stuff uh, that one is really a last option because for me uh, for when you play an FPS it's really important to have like a nice uh, fav. So uh, that's about it guys if you have any question don't hesitate and don't subscribe don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Peace.